friends, thank you so much for watching. Welcome, I'm Stacy, and in today's video, we are doing a holiday tablescape. And make sure to stay until the end because we are also going to be making chocolate bark. It is such an easy recipe that I think you guys will really enjoy. But let's get started on our holiday tablescape, and I hope this gives you guys some inspiration this holiday season. Now, this boat you may recognize from previous videos I have had for a couple years now, and it stays on our dining room table pretty much year round. And a quick and easy way to decorate this is I just pretty much change the greenery throughout the season. So this season we're going more with a holiday look. I picked up these picks all at Hobby Lobby. You can find these items at your local Michaels too, but it's such a quick and easy way to pick up little pieces inexpensively, add them onto your vessel, or maybe just add them onto the table as they are. What's great about keeping it on a flat surface is that you can also add candles, which gives it such a classic, elegant look in my opinion. But here I just have like a little bit of greenery. It's all faux greenery, a little bit of pine cones. We have some red because because I just love the color red around the Christmas time. I think it just adds a little pizzazz. And then a little bit of frosted picks in here. Then I thought the gold would go really nice. It would tie in with our table. And I just have these little gold ornaments that are great. You can use these on your Christmas tree or I'm just gonna turn them upside down and then use them into my tablescape. A little sign that just says joy. I have it propped up along with the pine cones just to kind of keep it up. You know, a great thing about having this table piece on the table is that if I need to take this off to add on dinner rolls or any type of side dishes I may have, it just picks up very easily. I'm able to move it right out of the way. So kind of keep that in mind when you're putting together your tablescape. But like I said, go to your local Hobby Lobby or Michaels and pick up these picks. It's such a great and inexpensive way to add some holiday decor without breaking the bank. Now, if you guys know me, you know I always like to add some type of little dessert element on the table. I think it's just a sweet treat and it's always so exciting when friends and family come over and they're like, "Is are those chocolates inside your decorations? I'm like, yeah, take a chocolate. And you cannot go wrong with these little uh, hazelnut chocolates. I hope I'm saying it right, Forever, Ferrero Rocher. I always say that wrong, but anyways. <laughs> I, they just look like Christmas ornaments to me. And I, I love these chocolates. I just think they're so delicious. But look at, they're in the little gold wrapper. Like I said, they look like little Christmas ornaments. And I always think it's fun to just kind of add them around your table setting. Just, just add a little decor and a, like a little surprise. So everybody's always excited when they're like, Are the, is that chocolate in there? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, grab a chocolate. And then it's fun after the holiday season when I'm trying to put everything away. Every now and then I'll find a chocolate someone left there and that's always a nice little surprise to have for you. But like I said, just kind of adding these throughout, just ties in that gold together, adds a little bit of a sparkle and a little bit ex excitement to the table too. So, all right, so we're gonna finish adding these chocolates throughout. Now, what I did was I placed everything out. I pulled everything out of my cabinets this year and uh, whatever I had in there. So, <laughs> you know, it's very easy for us to go into the stores and just pick everything new. And the next thing you know, you just have all this holiday decor and you don't even get to use it half the time. So this year I did not do that. I just kind of pulled everything out that I had and I have these red chargers. I actually picked these up years ago at Michael's on clearance, so I am a big shopper after the holidays. Usually the day, a couple days after Christmas, I'm at the holidays kind of picking up any little holiday pieces I may find. You can find great prices on them, great discounts. So that's my little tip for you guys, but I'm sure you guys already know that as well. If there are any holiday secret shopping tips that you guys have, leave a comment below, let us know. But I have a set of gold or red ones in here and gold one. I'm gonna set them throughout the table. It's such a fun, easy way to decorate the table without adding too much. And these are inexpensive. I believe I paid like 50 cents each for these. They are just plastic. So we're gonna do a combination of the red and the gold all combined together. I think it just kind of brings everything together. First, let's add our little, oh my gosh, this guy's heavy. We're gonna add our little tablescape in here. And I may fiddle with this a lot, you know, going through and just kind of fixing the chocolates throughout the day, just making sure everything looks great. So, all right, but what we're gonna do here is we are going to create our, or add our chargers over here. So let's see, we have red, gold, we'll do some gold over here. 
Let me place this chair back over this way and then finish up. And you know, friends, if you don't have an entire table set or place setting or matching plates, you can mix match it. Just when you add it, like different layers and different elements, it just really jazzes up the table with kind of not trying too hard. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but basically what I'm saying is don't be afraid to mix and match everything. Half the time you're just there with friends and good family so it doesn't really matter i think when you're just putting something together everybody's so excited to just be there with everybody else and just celebrate the season together so we are going to add in our plates and have these beautiful little christmas plates that's a great christmas idea gift idea is kind of just buying holiday plates you know for a family member a friend especially someone that you know that likes to host i think that's a great gift a few years ago, I actually have a set of, I think they're snowman. I got a set of snowman plates that I was using for many years that was gifted to me. And I just love it because like I said, sometimes I don't have enough for everybody. So I'm able to pull out those additional plates too. But even if you just have a regular white plate, you just add it on a charger. Oh my gosh, your family will think you spent so much time on it when it only took a couple minutes. <laughs> so now we are going to add in our napkins. Now the napkins are red with like little, what are these, got little silver snowflakes all throughout. Just kind of add a little pizzazz, different textures, different colors. And what I did is I'm just gonna simply fold this over just like this, kind of wrap it around the dinner plate. So here you have your napkin just kind of fold in a rectangular shape. I wrap it around the dinner plate, tuck it underneath, and then just place it right on the charger. Then we're going to grab our bread plate and add our bread plate right on top. And here you go, you got everything placed all together. So I'm gonna pretty much go throughout and do this for each plate setting. All right, so I have all the plates, the silverwares, the napkins all together. Now I'm gonna to top each plate with a little cookie and this I'll do about an hour before everybody arrives. But what I like to do is just kind of pick up some kind of sweet treat, something that you don't always see at the store every day. I did pick this up at the local uh, farmer's market, this little set of these gingerbread cookies that I thought were so cute. But you can also add in the little chocolates too, just kind of right on the top of each table setting. Now, you will notice a couple of my stemware, it doesn't match, but it just looks so great together. Now, I got these actually from Walmart. These are from the Pioneer Woman line. They come in many different colors, very inexpensive for a set of four under $20. And then on the two end pieces, just, just kind of create somewhat of a pattern. What I did was I kept the stemware that is different from the little goblets on the end because I thought that would just add a little finishing touch. Now I might go in and create little fillers and things like this, but I hope this gives you guys some inspiration to just kind of pull everything out, what you have, add it onto the table and just kind of organize it in a way that it just kind of looks very decorative, very pretty and gives such a festive feel to the holiday season. Another great way to personalize your table setting is to just add like a little ornament here. Like you can see, I have our daughter's name, Cameron, on there. It's just a little ornament that I can place right on top of the table setting, right next to the chocolate. And it's something that she can take home, place on her Christmas tree. It's just a nice gift idea. Now, if you don't have anything like this, you can also use gift tags. They have some great decorative gift tags for less than $5. They usually come in pa packs of 12 and 24, and it's just really cute that you can actually add it right onto the table setting, or maybe you wanna add it right onto the glassware. That would be a great idea, taking like a gift tag and adding it right onto the glassware. That way, when everybody's walking around with their glass, you don't have to worry about if it's placed somewhere, everybody knows whose is who, so. <laughs> but just a great decorating tip for you guys. All right, friends, now here's the final tablescape. Let me know what you guys 
guys think. Leave a comment below, but I really enjoy the way it came out. Like I said, I have the chargers, plates on top of the chargers with the napkins tucked underneath, a little chocolate on top. I ended up opening up these little gingerbread cookies because they're just so good. So I have those in a bowl off to the side. Now come when it's time to serve dinner. Obviously I won't have these on the table because I don't want to spoil anybody's dinner. I think the chocolate is, is enough as it is, but just adding a little pops of the little colors and the different kinds of stemware. It just is such an easy, simple way to elevate your table and just kind of say to friends and family that, hey, I put a little bit of time into this and I'm so glad you're here. Let's sit down and enjoy a great meal together. So, but I hope you guys enjoy. Now we are going off into my kitchen right behind me and we're gonna make some chocolate bark that I'm going to be using for our charcuterie board that I will be making Saturday just before everybody arrives and comes over. If you guys want me to share that with you, let me know, leave a comment below. All right, friends, now we're gonna make our chocolate bark and what I'm starting out with is a package of Ghirardelli. I'm using dark chocolate, the 72% cacao, but you can use any kind of chocolate you prefer. Now my local grocery store actually had these on sale the other day. You got three packs for $10, so I did pick up a couple different packs. So I'm going to melt this down, and you have a couple ways of melting down the chocolate. You can add it into the microwave and just kind of do 30 second increments and keep stirring. I personally have not had much success with that. I tend to heat it up too long and it just so no you know it just kind of seizes up gets too hard and it's just a mess so make sure you know the temperature of your microwave pretty well so how I'm doing this is I'm creating a double boiler I actually have a pot of water on the stove right now I'm kind of trying to bring it up to a simmer which it looks like it's almost there then I'm going to add this right on top of the water and just kind of stir it as it melts it does take a little bit longer, about 10, 15 minutes, but I kind of find it nice just sitting there, stirring the chocolates and melting them. And actually, I noticed that when they are melting, as they kind of break down, towards the end, everything's pretty much all melted together, even though you may still see uh, chunks of chocolate there. Um, you can kind of take it off and then pour up uh, you know, we're gonna pour it into our cookie sheet here, so. <laughs> but anyways, we'll get started on this. If you're looking to make some kind of dessert, this is such a quick and easy way to really make a dessert nice and festive and just kind of using the ingredients that you may have in your house. You may already have chocolate in there because maybe you're planning on making cookies or anything like that, but we are actually going to be topping this chocolate with this little packet of these little salad pizzazz. It's a mixture of dried fruit with some candied uh, walnuts in there. You will find this in the produce section of your grocery store because it's made to just kind of add on top of your salad, you know, add a little fruity crunch in there. But you can also, I have found, I will use these on my charcuterie boards. It's such a quick, inexpensive way to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of crunch, without buying multiple packages of dried fruit and nuts or anything like that, which can kind of add up, you know, and get quite expensive. So I'm gonna pull this off because this chocolate actually melted a lot faster than I thought. So just keep stirring it as it's melting more. I still have little pieces of chocolate in there, but once you keep stirring it, it will slowly melt too, so. But I got some, let me show, oh my gosh, I wish, you, I, I wish the camera was turned around. My daughter's kitty's like jumping in the air trying to catch something, you can't see her. But anyways, I thought it would be fun to share a couple old Christmas stories with you. You know, around the holidays, it's always such a fun, exciting time, but I gotta share this funny story with you guys. So a few years ago, I thought it would be fun for, to take my girls to Christmas mass now, for those that don't know, I'm located in South Florida. We're located in Palm Beach County, and we are only about 20, 25 minutes away from mar lago which is where President Trump stays, um, his Florida home, his Palm Beach County home and everything. But we went to Christmas Mass a few years ago, right at midnight at the church in Palm Beach. Palm Beach is the island over there. Very beautiful, historic church. It's been there since the early 1900s. And... Um, <laughs> Anyways, we went there and President Trump was there with his wife and everything. And uh, we were walking through um, to do communion. So we were coming down and my daughter, one of my, one, I had one daughter in front of me and my other daughter was behind me. 
And I turn around and I see her walking like this. And I'm like, what is this clown doing? So <laughs> she's walking down the center aisle at the church for communion with her phone in hopes to take a picture of the president. She did get a photo of the back of his head. But meanwhile, all of a sudden I hear ma'am and CIA security is all around her. And they're like, you need to put your phone away. This clown, <laughs> it was too funny. I turn around, I'm like, oh yeah. Okay, they're not gonna notice you're carrying your phone. So, but that was too, too, <laughs> too funny. Anyways, well, we had a good time, but secret service. Oh, it was a secret service, not CIA, secret service. What do I know? That's my husband in the background. Not, not sure if you can hear them. Another crazy Christmas story that I was just, I just remembered the other day because I was wrapping something up. So when I was younger, I always wanted to receive jewelry, some form of jewelry as a Christmas present because I always just thought, oh my gosh, that'd be so fancy. But for some reason, I never got jewelry. I was more of like a tomboy, so I never got anything like that. I just got all kinds of crazy gifts. But it was Christmas Eve, and on Christmas Eve, we were allowed to open one Christmas present. And I went under the Christmas tree, and I found the smallest little box because I was convinced that there was definitely a piece of jewelry in there. No, it was a pack of batteries. My grandma thought it was hilarious. The family laughed. They're real comedians over there. <laughs> they thought it was so funny. But anyways, the next day I was able to open the speak and spell. The batteries went with the speak and spell. Does anybody remember the speak and spell? Oh my gosh, that was funny. Talk about, that's definitely an 80s gift right there. So, all right, we are going to add our chocolate. Our chocolate's nice and melted. And pretty much you're just gonna add it right, oh my gosh, look at that chocolate. It's like I wanna stick my face in there. <laughs> you're just gonna add it onto the center of your, uh, I have a cookie sheet here, and then I just kinda have like a little silicone mat there. So that way it doesn't stick or anything like that. We're just kind of using our scraper, kind of getting all that chocolate goodness here. You know what would be a great idea is to add some white chocolate in here, but I only bought dark chocolate this season. I'm kind of making, I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. And uh, for Christmas Eve, we're gonna do like an Italian theme. I guess that's the big thing. I didn't know that, but we're gonna make like some pasta, some meatballs, chicken parm, all that good stuff. But I'm doing dark chocolate because I wanted to make a little bit of a cannoli dip I saw on Pinterest. So I'm excited about that. So all I have is dark chocolate in here. All right, so we have our chocolate pieces. Actually, I think I'm gonna spread that out a little bit more because I feel like, is it, does it look like I'm gonna get much <laughs> in here? But the plan is to break this up and to serve this on the charcuterie board I will be making on Christmas Eve. I thought what a great way to add some sweetness. We're gonna just take our little pomegranate honey walnut fusion and just kind of sprinkle this all throughout the chocolate. But you can really top this with anything you have, any kind of dried fruit or maybe you don't like dried fruit, maybe you like nuts or maybe you don't like nuts, whatever you wanna add on there to each his own. But yeah, I just love the holidays. It's always such an exciting time and all the shopping and all that good stuff. And then always the day after, it's always like, oh, it's all over. <laughs> but so do you guys take your Christmas tree decorations down on January 1st? Do you do it prior? Do you wait until mid-January? We kind of are more like January 1st. I kind of take everything off. But this year, I actually have a wedding on January 1st, so I most likely won't get to it until January 2nd there. But oh, yeah, this is just so cute. Just adding all of those little dried fruit and nuts on here. And you know what would make it really festive is if you had like Christmas colored sprinkles to add on top, that would just be so cute. But we are gonna place this in the refrigerator for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Let it get really, let the chocolate get hard and chill up. And then at that point, we're gonna break it up, add it into our little container here and just kind of keep it for safekeeping for the next couple days until we add it onto our charcuterie board. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a wonderful new year, and I'll see you next time. Bye.